how can we get unstuck from where we feel like why we can move forward? We have to acknowledge first, right, where we are, and then we take a look at this issue and figure out how can we resolve this. Or how can we make this solvable? This is Get Unstuck Podcast, a podcast for entrepreneurs who prioritize their life first, business second. I'm Mutita Panmuk, your host, who dedicates my life to designing and building a business that supports lifestyle. We will learn together from entrepreneurs around the world how they overcome their life challenges, their business of the cult, and yet still get unstuck from the hamster wheel of burying themselves into their business. Because time is the number one commodity in the world that you cannot get back once it's gone. So let's shorten the learning curve and see how can we prioritize better. Let's get unstuck. Hi, Get Unstuck Nation. So this episode, I know it's still beginning of the year, but I have been thinking, and this topic has come across my mind for a while. It's about self motivation and self encouragement. You know, when we enter any leadership training or team training, basically, you usually heard that you can't motivate the team, yet you can encourage them to do so. However, looking back to yourself, how you feel inside, and how could you really? Motivate yourself on daily basis, showing up for yourself, or encourage yourself to keep believing in yourself. Let's say it's kind of easy to explain, but if the things not yet going according to plan, you have to convince yourself and truly believe in yourself, and don't get distracted. Because if not. You won't feel any encouragement to keep doing and moving forward according to what you believe in, right? Thinking about it. So, in this episode, we are going to talk about self motivation and self encouragement. How can we feel motivated and encouraged to keep doing what we're doing? I think it started from accepted your situation. The first thing first, you need to accept where you are right now. You have to accept that what is the current well-being of yourself. What is the current project that you're working on? What is the current problem that you have? So, in the get unstuck method, this part we will evaluate you in the personal side. Um, it's in the self awareness circle. So. This is actually a self-aware, and the faster you acknowledge yourself and also accept what is happening with you and to you, the shorter process that you can find the way out of your situation. So once you're able to accept the situation that you are in, if, for example, that is the problem, usually when you see a problem. You will go directly to how can you solve this, right? What is the first thought after you see that? Okay, this is the problem. I would like to challenge you to change the question to: Is this problem solvable? The reason is because not all the problem have to be solved by yourself, and it's okay that you didn't have to figure out it by yourself. But at least you are aware that. This is something going on that is not right in the right place, right? So thinking about it, there is always a path to the next stage of life journey, let's say. But how can we get unstuck from where we feel like why we can move forward? We have to acknowledge first, right, where we are, and then we take a look at this issue and figure out how can we resolve this. Or how can we make this solvable? So, is this problem solvable by yourself, or anyone can solve this for you? Which one will be a faster solution? Because time is the only thing that you cannot get back, right? Time is the only thing that you cannot get back. So think about it. 
if you can solve this by yourself, that's great. That's amazing. You can do it now. Just solve it. Proceed. See, you already see the light at the end of the tunnel. You can make decision right away. When you see this type of problem that you can solve by yourself, you shorten the decision making process. And you will find that this is motivate you and encourage you to move forward easier by acknowledge the problem that you can solve right now. So that is the shortcut. On the other hand, the reason why you couldn't move forward as promptly as you think is maybe because this problem, you cannot solve it by yourself or not yet. It maybe take longer time by yourself and there may be our more expert or our other people that can help you solving it faster. In that case, you have to allow other people to help you. And then once you acknowledge that there are other people can help you with that, then that is another light at the end of the tunnel that, okay, you find motivated to reach out to those people that can help you. And you will find the encourage to do so, so that you could proceed further into the momentum that you are figuring out how to solve this. And now we are at the uh, the process of stepping closer to the goal, solving this problem, right? Solving this current situation and also move forward to the next stage or next cycle of being, let's say. Why this is important? Let's talk about story time in comparison of real life. So one of my clients, I have seen many types, not many types, I mean many clients of mine that experience this way. It's hard enough already to think about what you're going to do when you retire, right? Even making decision when to retire already hard. But when it reached to retirement age that you have made decision on, how it's really going to look like on a day-to-day basis, how you're really going to live. Are you enjoy working now just because you enjoy working or you have to work, right? What is it? Why you still feel tired? What's wrong? Are you refuse to accept something in yourself? Is there something not right currently? Do you feel like everything according to the flow? You still feel motivated and encouraged to running a business that support your lifestyle still? Asking yourself that. So a client of mine has planned for a long time that when he reached 60, he will only work when he wants to because that is his retirement plan. When he reached 60, that's not happening. Why? Because there are um, clients of him scheduled ahead for years, booking his time for years over. And he's a speaker and there are classes. So his time was scheduled and booked ahead. And business still have to run. And because he's still trading time for money, doesn't mean he has to do, but he also enjoy doing it. But he said that he is going to retire when he reached 60, right? Something wrong. Maybe it's not wrong. Maybe he changed his mind of the retirement age. You see, it depends on the perspective and also the decision that you made as well. No one can judge you on that. But if we stand for the decision that when you reach 60, you will reach to your retirement and your retirement plan is that you will work when you want to. So in such case, what will happen? So we will evaluate the situation. How can we solve this problem? How can this problem solvable? Okay, there are still many clients ahead, but we have already over the milestone of retirement of 68, right? What should we do? Okay, personally, problem is the age-wise. We have already over the line. So do you need to set a new deadline? Do we need to set a new deadline? Yes, because we cannot turn back our age as a number. (laughs) What about business problem? So business problem in the get unstuck method, we will focus on business by design. We have to evaluate on many levels, basically four circle. The first one would be the self-mastery of the owner or decision makers. What type of the mastery skill that contribute to the main service and offers? Basically, what are those? Has it been reached to satisfaction yet? Because that could give the reality of not letting go 
of doing your work, you know? That is basically the self-awareness thing that you feel like, oh, you have to still working because you you haven't feel satisfied of yourself yet. That could be the problem, but maybe not because you enjoy doing, right? That's one thing. And then have you designed the real lifestyle of retirement yet? Like really able to see how you live in the retirement age or retirement time, how your weekdays and weekends could potentially look like vividly. You have to think about it though. Do you want it to be quiet? Who do you want to contact on daily basis? Because if you want to change, it would be change. But if you want to be the same, nothing would change because we have our business support our lifestyle. Don't forget that. So if you want to remain everything the same, we will live the same way, right? Then retirement hasn't come. Think about it. So you have to figure that out if you're going to draw the line. And that's why you feel more motivated for the change and encouraged to make change to do so. Then you design the business model to prepare the exit. So model monetization stream so that it wouldn't afford, um, it wouldn't affect the financial side operation system. Are you going to find the successor who will do the training for you or convert it to online course or any other knowledge resources and also resource management in case you have team members that you have to take care of you have like um, management team leadership team etc in your business admin team your other team members or your company employees that you have to take care of and other resources how you are going to manage mainly would be three part how you going to Keep that running by whom when you retire. And that will be your exit plan that business can run without you. And lastly, for you not to feel lonely, if this is the thing that you still enjoy doing and you think that, okay, even then, even though you're still at the retirement age, but you still want to work this, but by by request or by preference only. <laughs> So are you having any connection or networking that around you that would give you interest in the new ideas around that yet? Or community that you can hang out with like-minded people? Or you can give back to people who dedicate the same interest as you so that you could keep enhance your skills as well as helping others doing better things? according to your industry. So this four circle would be on the business by design side that will support your lifestyle basically so that everything will run according to the order and will keep the momentum running. And when you see that and when you understand vividly that this is the clear path that you need to change and this is something that you accept the change that you want, you will feel motivated because you will feel excited that is happening and then you will feel encouraged to take action to make this change happen by the next deadline that we will set afterward so ask yourself along with this story time of one of my clients and for yourself even when you feel like you don't feel motivated enough or there is nothing encourage you enough to take action to make change in your life or business have you seen a clear pictures or have you accept yourself fully enough in all the areas that what is it really that keep you stuck and how can you get unstuck from that point and move forward to see the light at the end of the tunnel? So hope the exercise helps you to be motivated and also encouraged to move forward as well. And see you in the next episode. Remember, let's get unstuck. I hope this episode inspires you wherever you are in your entrepreneurial journey so that you can have your business that supports your lifestyle. Get a show note at getunstuckmethod.com slash podcast. Review what you have learned together today and start implementing right now. See it by yourself. The results of your consistent action are worth it. You deserve the freedom to enjoy your life. Until the next episode, let's get unstuck.